Good day everyone! Welcome back to the channel and as promised I'd be covering in today's video one of my latest finishes, the Tamiya T62A. So in my video which covered the box review, I did mention that there were some parts that we had to correct with the kit to make it at least fairly accurate for a T62 tank. And one of which I pointed out would be the turret. Let's get this off. Now the turret of Tamiya had this sort of lip around here. So the turret would be a dome shape for the most part but then a lip forms around this area up front which is fairly inaccurate for ATC T62. So what I did was I used epoxy putty or basically um, steel reinforced epoxy putty clay or something like that to form the correct shape of the turret which you can see turned out quite nicely. Another part would be the hull, I mean excuse me, the turret was molded soft. Um, what do I mean by that? The surface texture was missing. So basically this was a very, very smooth turret. And the actual T62 has a cast texture turret. So what I did was, I used one ply tissue paper and replicated the cast texture on the turret. And as you can see right there, there's that sort of texture around the areas and another would be the handles at the rear of the turret which I molded using craft wire then up front we have the gun mantlet which I also had to heavily modify as it was molded to fit the lip on the original mold so I had to modify that make it bigger and add more surface details to the mantlet cover I used tissue paper as well as thin fabric for this one and that's basically it for the turret now let's move on to the hull now the hull was somewhat lacking in detail service details like this for example I had to modify this to add the wire here and another wire that extends down north here and also the wires and I guess tubings that are connected to the periscopes and go down around here although as you can see that part is fairly cut but it should extend down to this area so aside from that um, most of the hull is unmodified and just weathered it up for good measure. Oh, and also, someone pointed this out. The actual T62 should have a weld mark right around here. So I tried to replicate it as best as possible. And now it wouldn't be so much evident as I did weather this area already. But as you can see here, there's a sort of line texture around there so that should replicate the weld marks oh and i forgot to mention that this part is also modified there's this area i presume it would be wirings that are connected to this main searchlight so that's mostly it for this tamiya t62a mostly modified turret just to make it accurate and I would like to note that when I modified this or around the turret part the front turret part I had to cut back on some of it because when you turn the turret around this part it would usually hit it or try to eat away at the plastic 
So I was able to modify it correctly and get the correct shape so that the turret rotates in a manner that's unobstructed. So here we have the unditching log which I just painted over with acrylics and oil. The rest was done using pigments and some oil paint as you can see. On the turret you have some streaking on these parts right here. Over here as well. And mostly mud, dirt. Over here is just a little touch of accumulated dirt. And also streaking on the external fuel tanks. So that's it for today's video. The next video would we'll be covering the Trumpeter KV-1. And after that, I would be releasing another inbox review of an academy kit this time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's rather short. But I just really wanted to cover this finished product. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up. But if you didn't, leave a thumbs down and let me know down in the comments below what you think about this kit, if you've built it, what are your experiences with it. And as always, stay safe, enjoy, and keep on modeling. Till next time, goodbye.